Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. And I've got to say, in the last part I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, Mikey is here. Oh man. So right now Sarah is working on her university projects because she's just gone back. Oh, just sorry, just started uni and Mikey's rock rocked up at the door. Let's ask about a day. I feel like we've made it really clear we've needed a space for quite some time and Mikey you know, she's rocked up again. <laughs> she just, she keeps coming back. So, um, I mean, we have just answered the door in our underwear. It's interesting. Some of you guys are like, I really want Sarah to just be independent, not find love and just focus on finding love in other ways, like a best friend or love for what she's doing. Uh, and then others of you think, I think she'd be perfect with Mikey. She just needed some space and Mikey's clearly just really into her and she can't wait around forever. So I'm torn. I just, I feel like Sarah's still not ready for a relationship. I think it's too soon. And another thing that you guys were a little bit worried about was their aging. So I was thinking, um, so we can all calm down. We'll just turn their aging to long so we don't have to worry about them aging up anytime soon. I mean, yeah, 33 days. We've got plenty of time. Actually, that's not as long as I thought we'd have, but I, I still think it's going to be okay. <laughs> so anyway, Mikey's come over. It's Tuesday at 11.30. Uh, it's great that Sarah's videos are supporting her at university. It's kind of ideal. But you know, maybe they can just hang out for a little bit. Although we do have a lot of work to do still. She needs to have some fun though. What what can they do together that is fun? That isn't woohooing. I know what you're all thinking. I mean, is chess fun? Why don't we play with Mikey? Oh, and look, look at little Molly. So cute. Does Molly have food? Yes, Molly does. Now, Key, he's upstairs getting a few winks to, of sleep. I think he took a vacation day the other day. Uh, and a lot of you guys are really keen for him to find someone to settle down with. But a lot of you guys weren't feeling the Nimi. So maybe looking or maybe going out on a few, a few dates would be nice. But a lot of you guys can see him settling down and having a family where Sarah would be maybe independent for a little bit while. A little bit longer or maybe her storyline isn't the usual soulmate storyline you know i feel like we do that a lot we in in let's plays we often want to find love and it's not everyone's storyline to end up with a soulmate okay it's just not in a sad way it's just there's there's greater love than soulmates for some people in their life and i really do believe that anyway so they, these girls are having fun Slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely. What else can you guys do together to have fun? You can watch a movie. <gasps> oh, and we got our roommate as well. Where is our roommate? I think our roommate's out, which is kind of nice. Well, maybe we can put up the bed and watch a movie together because I feel like the whole chess thing is going to take a long time. So let's put the bed up. Oh, the TV's in the house inventory. Okay, lucky I didn't just buy us a brand new TV. Oh, I get what happened. So the roommates put their ugly lamp up here and their little camera, right? <laughs> and we're like, no, sorry. <laughs> I get what happened. Okay, let's watch a movie. Let's watch College Cram with Mikey, because we're like, yeah, we've started uni. Let's watch like a uni-themed film together. And Key, I think it's okay to get up now. He also needs to have a bit of fun, but I feel like he can have uh, some fun by himself. Let's, oh, he could play some games on the computer. Let's just watch some, oh, let's do a workout. What about a power sculpting video? I'm not sure if he's gonna have fun with this, but maybe he will. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, your kitty litter? Do you not have kitty litter? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I totally forget to get forget to get you a uh, kitty litter. I'm so sorry, little Molly. I'm just more of a dog person. Like, if I could have dog litter, would that be would that be a good thing or like a bad thing? I think it would be a good thing if we had dog litter. Because then if you live in an apartment, you wouldn't have to take the dog out, but then you have that poo sitting in there. So I guess that's not as nice. Okay. That does your kitty litter. What is kitty litter? Oh, he's having so much fun exercising. Oh, nice. Because he was getting more of a pot belly. There's nothing wrong with a pop belly. I personally love a pop belly, but I think, you know, he, he can empower, empower himself with a bit of fitness. He's been working at a desk all these years, you know. He should, 
treat himself to, to looking off to his temple. His temple of life! Yeah, your body is a temple of life. Look at these two. I mean, we could. We could give him a massage. There's nothing that crazy about giving a massage. Just for a little bit of fun. Okay, Sarah. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I can go here with Mikey. I'm so torn. I feel like I'm Sarah, and I'm like, I don't know what I want. She doesn't know what she wants. I don't know what she wants. <sighs> oh no, they're feeling flirty. I mean, if something was to happen autonomously, I'm not gonna go against it. I mean, she's flirting with us now. We, I did kind of start that though. Damn it, I was meant to be empowering us by not being interested in relationships. Oh, I just keep going for it. What's wrong, little one? Let me just, let me just pee real quick. I guess, you know, I guess what you really need is just some love. Why don't, you know, why don't we watch something together? Can, is there an option to watch a movie with my cat? <gasps> Mikey's leaving. Whoa, that's like the first time she hasn't been clingy and she's just left. I like it. Treat them mean, keep them keen. She was there just long enough for Sarah to begin getting interested and then she's like, Sarah, I got better things to do. Bye-bye. Can I watch a movie with my cat? I wish there was an option to watch it with your cat. <laughs> that would have been so perfect. Uh, all right, so let's just watch a movie. Let's watch Diamonds Are For Sims. One of my personal favorites. Oh, are you happy now, little one? I feel like we need another cat to keep that cat company. Anyway, you need to have a little bit of fun too. Let's speed this up. Oh, and also for Key, we were thinking of changing his aspiration. And you guys suggested that he go for a happy family aspiration. Wait, where's the aspiration? Here we go. Which I agree, I was kind of leaning towards a family one. So we could either be like, he wants to be a super parent um, and he gets the role model reward trait. They provide bonus character values gain when near toddlers, children, and teens. That's a very handy option. Uh, successful lineage. I think you'd want that too. Your children's skill gains can contribute to your own. It's pretty cool. Or big happy family. This um, this sim wants to build a large loving household. I don't think he wants like a large loving household. Uh, and we definitely don't want a vampire family. <laughs> he just goes and becomes a vampire randomly. I kind of think he wants to have... Uh, does he want to be the best parent ever or does he want his kids to be successful? I think he'd care more about his kids being successful. Mm, let's just do super parent to begin with because I feel like, you know, he, he's, he's achieved being a workaholic. He got to where he wants to. He's feeling pretty comfortable. He's gone through a divorce, you know. Finally, he can kind of settle down and focus on finding someone and, and building a family one day. He's finally ready for that. And I know it seems like a little fast, but in Sims, time goes by quickly, you know. One week is a long time, so things change quickly, you guys. He's had quite a bit of time after his divorce, it seems like. Do we have an option with this? No. I want to see the cat play on the cat tree. Can we influence the cat to do that? Please play on your cat tree. <gasps> Pamper on couch. That is a good option. I, I totally think we should do that. So yeah, he's, he's wanting to have a family. So he's not as into the soulmate thing. He's more into that. I want to find someone to have a baby with thing. Can anyone relate to that? <laughs> you let me know. Okay, she didn't have that much fun um, from the TV, sadly. Oh, she's doing her, she's doing her homework. Oh, that's good. Okay. Hey, oh. Oh no. Why is our roommate so dirty? I knew he was a slob, but geez. Can we like encourage you to have a shower or something? Complain about Akda. Have a deep conversation. Um, kill. You know I love you, but you look really uncomfortable. You gotta take care of yourself. He's like, ah, oh, it's all right. I just had a big day. Let's just give him a compliment. Be like, I love how you don't care 
You just no. get his. Ah, Are you wearing you bowling shoes? Kill, kill. He probably got them for free and was like, "Yay! I took. I I accidentally walked out of the bowling place with my shoes on accidentally." <laughs> Because he is like a free gun, so he's like, ah, free bowling shoes. Oh, and they just became good friends. Oh, I love Gil. <gasps> what happens if they became best friends and then adopted a kid together or something? Or like built a bakery or something random. Like, I don't know. These two could be like such good friends. Kind of like on, uh, what's it called? Not two and a half men. Definitely not two and a half men. Will and Grace, how they were just really good friends and they were kind of each other's soulmates. I kind of love that idea. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. No scratching play, plays. And uh, Nami is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. I mean... Sure. I'm happy to get to know you better. I don't feel like anything's that spicy right now. I feel like it was more of a random hookup on New Year's Eve, but who knows, maybe they'll really hit it off and next minute they're gonna be popping out the babies together. These things can happen. We'll see if they click. If they don't really click, then it's fine. We'll just leave it. All right. Oh my gosh. Um. Did you just invite us to your house? to flex and now you've just disappeared to work. Oh, I forgot I had, okay, maybe we do want to be involved with this family because this is a massive house. This is like the biggest lot in the world. Oh my God. She's rich. Wait, I don't understand. What? I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't marry for money. Is Key a gold digger? No. Wow, but she totally did just flex her house and then get out of here. What is with that? Who's this? Megumi. Hello. Wow, it's really overcast here as well. Oh, this is nice. I think little Simsy built this house. Okay. Why is this lagging so much? Is there more on this wall? It's very laggy. Hello. Oh, they've got a couple of purse guards. That's nice. Hi, um, Megumi, I'm so sorry, I don't know if it was your daughter I was meeting, or your sister, young adult, adult, or maybe this is her mom? <gasps> Imagine if we had an affair with the mom. Oh. I'd kind of be so down for that. Let's just, like... I don't want to be that weirdo who... Oh wow, I never noticed the, the logo. That is a big logo on this laptop. Holy. Um, show appreciation to host. Gossip about neighbors. Get to know. Let's just get to know. Warn about bed safety. That's strange. Complain about cloudy weather. Yeah, it's really overcast today. Right in her day. Oh, she she found that funny. Oh, she's thinking about love. He's like, are you working? We seem so annoying, like interrupting her. Why is she clutching her heart? Why are we hitting it off so much with this lady? Okay. Uh, discuss local fishing spots. Where is she going? Do you feel uncomfortable around us because you're secretly attracted to us? Hmm. I just... Oh my gosh! Okay, we totally hit it off really quickly. We must have already known her. <gasps> Nayuki, could we... Is that friend Nayuki? Oh my gosh, stop it, you guys! He just gained a sentiment. Sentiments don't come that easily. I mean, I think we've had that closer from happy memories. He feels close to Megumi from good times and happy memories. I think they're hitting it off a little bit. I'm sorry, but I mean, we have spent, what, two seconds with her mom and we're already better friends. 
<sighs> I, I'm sorry, you guys, but I just, I think this can't, it would be too big to, it's probably a bit weird to hug her. Let's just think it's about fruitcake instead. I think he likes her. We're not gonna like do anything crazy or disrespectful, but I feel like let's embrace. No, let's just compliment her. Uh, let's uh, not ask to join household. Ask for a small loan. We should just make her our sugar mama. I don't know why we complimented her outfit, but like that's such a nice sweater. I just want to get to know her more. Let's get to know. Hey, where did you go? I feel like she's... <gasps> oh no, they're all home now. Okay. Hi, Nanami. Heartfelt... Felt... <laughs> Bright and day, heartfelt compliment. This is weird. I'm like torn between the mom and the daughter. I'm just gonna, you know... I just want to get to know you more. I bet you I've gone past it like 50 times and you guys are like, Deli, stop, you're going past it. Express admiration. See, it's not going up as quickly. I mean, we've had like one interaction versus like 10 interactions with her mom, but I swear. And then Kayoshi. Wait, I'm so confused. Is Kayoshi their son? So we might be interested in our best friends. I don't know if that if that's his son, because he's an adult too. That wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I feel like when Mix I don't Mayuki's gonna hate us. Okay, the mum left. It's probably just as well. This is just awkward. I just feel like he's more into the mom. Talk about cloudy weather. I mean, she she seems very pleasant, but do we want pleasant? I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure that I I just don't feel this. I'm not feeling it. Nanami's mom has got it going. On. She's all that I want, and I waited for so long. Okay, she just walked away from us, so... Can we just say we're not really interested? You know what? I don't think we hit it off just then. I did I did some socializing, you guys. You can't tell me I haven't tried a little bit. I may be slightly biased. I am never biased with my Sims relationships, please. Oh, he's gonna talk with Naoki? Dude, you do not want to do that. I just... Oh, whoa! Oh, I thought he was about to walk into Kayoshi's rose petal bar. Oh, gosh. Hi, I'm being really respectful to you, even though I'm kind of into your wife. Okay, let's go home. I'm getting you out of here, buddy. Like, this is not... Just go home, pet your cat on your couch, and I hope we don't run into Mrs. Mrs. Ido. Oh my gosh, we were there until midnight? See, time flies when you're in love. We really shouldn't go for a married woman. Would he do that? I don't know. I don't think he, I don't know. I don't think he needs money. I don't think he needs to like, he doesn't need the incentive of money. So he wouldn't pursue those women, either of them for money. But I don't know. I feel like he and the mom got along. Tea time. <laughs> uh, back to our bamboo living. Where's our cat? Do we have to work tomorrow? Do we have to work tomorrow? Oh, we do. Okay, we better go to sleep. Up to our little bed. Okay, Sarah, what are you doing? What you doing, girl? Okay, we need to do our homework for the strength of water and planet Earth. Strength of water. There we go. How about you start with that? Nanomi's mom has got it going on. Oh, hey! Oh, you going to bed, Gil? It's like, damn, I'm so excited about you and your new course. And by the way, I showered, but I'm still wearing my... Wait, these aren't bowling shoes. He's changed his shoes now, right? <gasps> Multicolored socks. Yes, love that for us. 
Okay, look, y'all. I know I'm like in your area. You know what? We have five thousand dollars. We could probably also renovate Sarah's house a little bit. Uh, maybe he can actually have a room. You know, I'm just thinking. How should we? It's almost like they should live in separate houses. You know what I mean? We could. I feel like this room is so tiny. For starters, I feel like we could put Sarah's. I mean, if you. Let me think for a second. If we if this was a bedroom, okay, we we could turn this into a corridor and actually have two rooms coming off here. Um, two small. I mean, they're quite small rooms. It's yeah. Maybe if we just let's just kind of build this out. Oh, okay, I see what I've done here. Wait, we can just put this down. Okay, so this could be a room here. And honestly, they could be two rooms like this. The only problem is technically a double bed wouldn't fit. Actually, a double bed can fit, but um, obviously like the Sims will have to kind of slide over to the other side. How do we have 7,000 simoleons? So confused. Okay, and then we need a roof on this. What's going on up here? Okay, let's just go like that. How's our house looking? It's not looking too bad, except for the fact we have no wall here. <laughs> okay, it might look nicer from the other side if we just close this in like that. These can just have the same kind of walls. Okay, and then if we put this up, we could have another wall like this, like this, and then we could actually put like a planter up here. So let's go ahead, put some grass down like this. Maybe I'll get some more plain grass, just like that. And then we can get, mm, no, I don't like those. A hedge, hedge. Yeah, we can just get some hedging like this. It's so nice to have money in this game, you know? Ugh, such a relief. Okay, I think that's a little tall. Because we don't want it to look like a mistake next to the other wall. It has to look kind of deliberate. And then we should get the big square windows. I swear we put some in this house, yeah. Let's grab these. Oh, that's actually quite nice for a facade of a home. I don't, I don't actually mind that. So we've got this. How much is this, by the way? It's pretty cheap. Oh my god, a window costing only 30 simoleons. That's so cheap. If only that was what happened in real life. Also, the ladder was cute as a tiny home, but I feel like as the house gets bigger, it's kind of weird. But I, I don't know how to fix that. Okay, we can put these doors up here. Put one there, one there. Okay, and then we don't have to have this Murphy bed anymore. Oh, we can keep the Murphy bed. Did I just sound American then? The Mur Murphy bed. Uh, I don't think it's gonna fit though. It doesn't fit, okay. So we can keep the, sh let's keep the shelf downstairs. We'll go like this. And then they both can have double beds now. You know, they're upgrading in life. Sarah, Sarah's been working pretty hard, so I feel like we should get her a nice comfortable bed. I'm gonna go this uh, bed from Little Dicker. This was from Sleek Slumber, just cause I think it's such a cool bed and it's six comfort, I think, which is pretty decent. I'm just not sure of what color Sarah would go for. Maybe something with a bit of blue in it, I'm thinking. Something with blue that's still quite simple and nice. And I felt like over here, Gil should have some fun colors, so like red and blue just to brighten up his space. And I feel like he should have on the wall some like queen he looks up to, you know? So maybe we should get, uh, I don't feel like he's a Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Let's just say, not necessarily Marilyn, but 
a fashion icon like that. And maybe he has pictures from his little nephew that his nephew drew him or something like that. <laughs> uh, that's kind of the character I, I'm forming in my head of Gil. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Maybe like, actually maybe more of a Lady Gaga kind of kind of guy. But they have two new beds. They've got this new bedroom built, which looks amazing. And I just feel like it's a good thing. Oh, we totally didn't get a couch. I just remembered we, do, we don't have a couch downstairs. Oh no. Well, we'll just have to go without a couch for now. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys, but we have to go without a couch. <laughs> so she's doing her homework. He is fast asleep in bed, just getting ready for work tomorrow. Oh, also listening to the earbuds, I keep forgetting that probably could have lifted up his fun a little bit. Okay, it's three in the morning and Gil has a friend over. Oh, he said goodbye though. He was like, go, you're here too late. Good job, Gil. Oh, and he's going off to his new bed. That's so cute. It's so hard to keep up with homework like our coursework. We're only 50% done on this homework. It takes so long to complete it and we have so many subjects and they're like all on the same day. It's not fair. Actually, we're doing fine with energy though. The only thing that's difficult is the fact that we've had no fun. Okay, she's finally finished her homework. She's feeling very tense and we have homework. I mean, not homework, we have class in two hours. So we'll just eat some cereal. We'll go and maybe get to have a little bit of fun. Oh my gosh, they're eating cereal at the same time at their different tables. Can they actually see each other through the window? Oh, luckily they can't see each other because that would be so awkward. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Um, yeah, he can just finish eating that. Molly, do you have enough food in here? Molly, it's okay. I love you, you'll be all right. She's like, why don't you give me any attention? That reminds me, I have to brush, uh, I have to brush Bowser. Wait, what is wrong? I think she just wants attention. Molly would like a nice clean litter box. What? It is clean. What, you want a new litter box? We don't, we can't. Oh, it's only 25 small ones. I was like, we can't afford another, another one. Okay, fine, you can have this one. Okay. Oh, actually, these ones are really cool. That's a way cooler little box than what we had. There you go. You love us now? There we go. Praise you for making me spend more money on you. Give you a treat. Oh, wait, no, that's Sarah. Wait, no. <laughs> What's she doing for fun? Do we have earbuds or did we say no to them? Damn it. I regret not getting the earbuds. Gil, honey, you can't, why do you leave the house like that? You should look to your idols and remember that they would never. Oh dear. Okay, well she's off to, she's off to class, which is good. I'm so glad we finished homework. He's running around shirtless. That's awkward, seeing your ex shirtless. <laughs> and he's going into Sarah's house maybe to see the new renovation. And you know what, just cause he's such a good guy, I'm gonna go ahead and mop this up. He's a nice guy, you know. He might be into someone's mom, but it's fine. And look at all of this sweet, sweet cash. There's another $600. Not bad. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Let me know if you think we should pursue Keith's love interest's mother. <laughs> and I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to you soon. Ta-ta!